And now it's time for development debates. We dig deeper into some of the questions shaping the future and present of China. Today, we'll discuss if China needs a comprehensive ban on tobacco advertising. On July 9th of this year, the World Health Organization Director General Manager Margaret Chan visited China. She urged China to make more stringent tobacco control policies immediately. Otherwise, the annual number of deaths due to tobacco-related diseases in China will be more than 3 million by 2050. China has gone through 11 years of tobacco control since it signed onto the World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. However, tobacco control has always been a controversial topic. One side consistently advocates more action against tobacco. Those involved in healthcare are just about a consensus on the side. The other side includes those who profit from the habits of smokers. Those are people who work for the State Tobacco Monopoly Bureau, which is representative of the Chinese tobacco system. On June 9, 53 experts in the fields of public health law and tobacco control submitted a joint letter to the Law Committee of the National People's Congress. The letter called for amendments to tobacco advertisements. It said that advertising laws must be based on the principle of a comprehensive ban on all tobacco advertisements, promotions, and sponsorship. Those experts believe that it's a principle that concerns the interests of both the Chinese nation and the health of future generations. Statistics provided by the Chinese investment consulting company show that in countries which implement a comprehensive ban on tobacco ads, tobacco consumption was on average reduced by nearly 9%. In nations with a partial ban on tobacco ads, the consumption was reduced by only 1%. Wu Yiqin was formerly the vice president of the Chinese Academy of Preventative Medicine and now is known as tobacco control lady in China. She said that both internal and overseas experience indicates that a partial ban on tobacco ads will lead tobacco companies to those unprotected areas and the impact of tobacco ads be more effective on the country's young people. In Wu Yiqin's view, there are many loopholes in current Chinese laws for tobacco ads to exploit. For example, they'll buy the school's naming rights and call it the Tobacco Hope School, or they'll post slogans like, Help You Grow With Tobacco. Wu Yiqin pointed out that this sponsorship is intrusive and acts as a tobacco promotion. But China's current laws and the Advertising Law Amendment do not prohibit it. Meanwhile, according to official reports from the Chinese tobacco system, Oriental Tobacco Net, experts from the Supreme Court, and representatives from tobacco retail stores are all against comprehensive bans on tobacco. They noted that the ads are legally justifiable right for tobacco companies because they're legitimate subjects of the market economy. An expert from the Supreme People's Court said that a comprehensive ban on tobacco advertising is beyond China's international commitments, and it would be detrimental to national interests. The experts said the tobacco tax revenues have been an important part of Chinese tax revenues. Earlier, the Chinese Center for Disease Control released the Chinese tobacco industry reevaluated the economic and financial benefits report. The report pointed out the central government was greatly dependent upon the tobacco industry. It said the tobacco industry accounted for more than 8% of the central government's total tax revenues. Additionally, in certain areas such as Yunnan, Hunan, and Guizhou, tobacco is a highly valued cash crop. Because of the geographic concentration of the tobacco industry, local fines could take a major downturn without the tobacco industry. Therefore, experts believe that a comprehensive ban on tobacco be a big hit for both the tobacco industry and national finances. The international organizations that help guide policies for countries around the world are typically idealistic. They try to measure their values over the value of cash. Tobacco has definite negative impacts on human health. But many countries, China included, are insecure about giving up these huge tax revenues so quickly.